Welcome, welcome, and we are looking at some wonderful elephants in the distance. As you know, we were looking for the mating cheetah. We did not find mating cheetah. However, I saw something I have never seen in my life before, and unfortunately, it was just in one of those terrible gremlin invaded holes. But we are working on filling those holes, and I'm definitely sure uh, by the end of the year, or maybe next year, we'll be able to bring you possibly one of the most fascinating creatures that I have ever seen in my life. Now, I'm going to show you what they look like. I, we took some pictures, and um, Money did roll some footage on it, but it is the most incredible thing. Um, oh, can you see it, Manu? Do I need to lift? Let me have, put my head down. Um, do I need to lift it? There we go, try now. So let's try, there we go, look at that. A white hyena, a leucistic hyena. We did not see one, but we saw two leucistic hyenas. Now, as far as I know, there are three in that clan. Uh, they're right on the Tanzanian border, but isn't that absolutely amazing? That is not something I've ever seen in my life before. That is a first, and uh, we are just uh, blown away. So <laughs> excited. We saw a Tanzanian vehicle on the border. We're like, oh, you see the white hyenas? He's like, ah, yes, I know those ones. We see them all the time. So <laughs> obviously the guys in Tanzania see them quite often, but uh, that is a, a first for me. Uh, I heard about them when I first arrived in the Mara in May from the warden. He said there were some white hyenas near the Tanzanian border, but mostly in Tanzania. But isn't that absolutely f incredible? They're just over a year old. So uh, there's two of them um, that we saw, but there is apparently a third. So obviously that leucistic gene runs in that clan. Um, and hopefully once we get our other repeaters up, we'll be able to spend some time. It is quite a big clan as well. Uh, and also it's that area with uh, the, the two male cheetahs and a couple of female cheetahs also like to hang out. So very, very exciting. And uh, oof, I'm almost just... <laughs> <laughs> Jillian says they m look much nicer in white. They, they do. <laughs> they look a little bit less mischievous or, 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 or um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Less full of nonsense, I suppose. So they, they actually, if we have a look where those elephants are, their territory is below that hill. And uh, their, their, their clan boundary is probably that hill we can see there. Now there's another clan uh, here where we are, uh, and it's the clan we actually saw fighting with the next clan over in it towards the, the north of us. So there are a lot of hyenas, but that's just absolutely incredible. I mean, I'm, I'm still without words. Now, we're going to go into the, into the Happy Valley, uh, as Manu likes to call it. It has been such a great spot for us over the last couple of uh, weeks with lions, cheetah, hyenas, uh, leopard, all in this area down to the, the east of us here. Uh, so we've nicknamed it Happy Valley, even though, uh, well, the main reason is because one of the, the hyena clans down here is called the Happy Valley Hyena Clan. Um, but they lost the fight against the what I've been calling the, the bridge clan that come from this side. Uh, so let's go see what's happening in our happy valley. I'm just so happy I saw a hyena! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I think I'm just going to have to keep still because my comms were breaking there for a second. Let's see what I had a question about. So Nikki's wondering, do the other hyenas in the clan treat the white ones differently? Not from what we saw. Um, they could be born to quite a high-ranking female, so that they might have inherited that status, but they didn't treat them differently at all. Um, they ran around together. There was about seven or eight hyenas all together with the two white ones, um, and they were finishing off. They had a little bit of a carcass there, um, but uh, they, they didn't seem to be treated differently at all. Um, they were treated completely the same as the other hyenas. But, yeah, I, I mean... It's the, I've never ever heard of leucistic hyenas outside of this clan uh, in, in my life. And I've never heard of them in Southern Africa. The only place I've ever heard of them is this, this clan right here on the Tanzanian border. So hopefully we are going to get to be, spend some time with them in the future. It'll be very, very exciting. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just over the moon at the moment. Now, what have we got in the Happy Valley where my binoculars? So while we check what's happening in Manu and my happy valley, let's go across to Steph, who's marching about on Juma.